This video is not sponsored and has no adverts. Hello and thanks for joining me for some more photography. I'm down at the beach at Porth Tintowin again near Ross Niger and Anglesey. I was here quite recently in a video and in fact my videos now seem to revolve around walking Winnie the Pooch because it's about the only time I've got available at the moment. But it's a glorious morning, very clear skies, almost the end of October. But the thing about this morning is I'm after the light because uh, the sun should come up over here, kind of uh, southeasterly, something like that. Uh, and start illuminating some of this foreground and that's what I'm after. So I'm not going to be pointing the camera at the sunrise itself. I want the light from the sun in golden hour to light up some foreground for me. Maybe one or two images, we'll see how we get on. bit early yet for the light so I'm just taking a stroll along the beach past these various rocky outcrops with a view to scoping out some potential compositions it's a fabulous piece of coastline it's got everything you could want with these rocky outcrops and sandy little bays in between them and because we face southwest here you get this kind of differentiation between on the windward side of an outcrop, it's quite blustery like it is here, but then you get these really still lagoons. So you get this change in atmosphere within a few hundred meters. This is the sort of thing I really love the way you get shapes in the surf as it rolls back off the beach, the sand is quite steep here, but where it runs in between these boulders, it makes it more interesting. Still no light though, and I'm a photographer, light is everything, so I'm gonna walk on a bit further. The trouble is the tide's dropping off, so this might well be above the tide line by the time I walk back this way, but that's the sort of thing you want to be looking for on seascapes. You can find yourself on uh, any sort of beach. If you've got any surf, you can turn that to your advantage. Of course, it's changing all the time. It's a really dynamic environment. That's what makes it so interesting to me. Uh, and it's the sort of place where you set up a composition and then wait and see what the sea does. Hopefully the light will be consistent today. Anyway, to be honest, even if I don't get the camera out, if it doesn't come to anything, and I'm quite uh, conservative these days on what I point my camera at. There are plenty of times where I take the camera out because it's with me every single day. It doesn't come out of the bag. You kind of get to a point where you kind of know what's worth making an attempt at. And what you just know is you'll only end up deleting it when you get home. So I do tend to be quite choosy. What an app 
absolutely fabulous morning. This light is superb, but I still haven't found what I'm looking for in the words of the song. It's, it's going to be all about foreground and water movement. The sky is nothing. It's going to do nothing. There might not even be any sky in a shot. Oi, stop that. Winnie, come on. Come on, this way. Winnie, this way. Come on. Winnie the pooch, just about to roll on a dead seal pup. You see them quite often, it's quite sad, but I suppose it's the natural order of the way ecology works. But Winnie the Pooch likes rolling in them and oh my god, the stench. I don't know what any of this has got to do with photography, but I don't often indulge myself in streams of consciousness, chit chat, general bollocks. You get a lot of YouTube channels about photography that kind of talk about it philosophically, where um, you don't do much photography. They bang on about gear and they bang on about uh, I don't know, emotion and approach and all that sort of thing, which that's fine. I like to take pictures and then enjoy them. So, although this, this video at the moment is in some danger of being devoid of photography. Now, while I'm struggling on the beach to find something on this particular shoot, here's a short gallery of a couple of images I've captured over the last couple of weeks. Or you want another treat? I'm trying to make a video. It's not going very well, if I'm honest. Uh, hang on. Aha. Uh -huh. Good girl. Now bugger off. It's really not going to plan at the moment. It's just such a beautiful location with beautiful light and I just can't find myself a composition, plenty of subject material, but everything that I try and frame up, this isn't working. So I just haven't bothered pressing the shutter because I just know as I'm pressing the shutter, it's not what I want. And it's much better to wait until I do get what I want because I can pop back any time. Well, I eventually found myself 
the composition, although it isn't really a composition at all. Having spent quite a lot of time looking amongst the rocks to see what I could find, I ended up with something which is pretty much an archetype of these storm beaches with a wide arc of sand. Now, I've picked somewhere deliberately with quite a bit of shingle because I'm shooting an eight millimeter wide angle shot and letting the waves roll back down off the beach. There isn't really anything to the composition other than a really wide angle beach shot, but I'm blending exposure times, shooting at F11. Uh, I've got a polarizer, a, a three stop grad and a three stop ND. And so what I'm doing is taking shots of the waves out in the bay uh, at about uh, a third of a second, so that I just get a little bit of blur as those waves break. And then I've taken a series of shots of this foreground as the white water runs off the beach at about uh, one second, because you want a bit of extra time for those streaks to form. And it's, um, it's really enjoyable. The light is just perfect. The sun's probably only about three or four degrees above the horizon. That really low angles, lovely warm side light catching the leading edge of the waves is just perfect. I'm pretty confident this will turn out quite well. Um, I've taken maybe 20 or 30 exposures. Sorry about the barking. Winnie the Pooch is playing with a couple of Springer Spaniels here. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to leave it here for this one. I, I'll put this up at the end and I've got a couple of other images that I've taken over the last couple of weeks since my last video. But um, thank you ever so much for joining me. Really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, why not subscribe and join me next time? Cheers.